Hello learners, I welcome you to this class. In today's class, we will discuss the answers to assignment 1 questions. This is based on week 1 video lectures. So, let's get started with the first question. The first question is, mark the appropriate response. When Rita asked Madhavi, what do you do? What did Madhavi respond? Well, there are options. There are four options given. Option A, I'm cooking. Option B, I just returned from work. Option C, I'm a teacher. Option D, I was born in Chennai. What's the right answer? So, there's a big difference between the two questions. What are you doing and what do you do? The former questions your action at that very moment, while the latter means to ask what is your profession. Therefore, the right answer to the question, what do you do? is I am a teacher, that is option C. Now, the second question. When someone says, I kind of like watching movies, it becomes evident that he or she really loves watching movies. What's the right answer to that? Well, I kind of like watching movies means you neither, you are neither too fond of watching movies, nor do you detest or hate it, which means you are just okay with it. So, what's the right answer to that? That statement is false. The third question is, asking someone what is your job is considered too direct and awkward by native speakers. What's the right answer to that? Is the statement true or false? Well, uh, the statement is true because it's seen as awkward and impolite to ask someone what is your job. Therefore, native speakers of English rephrase the question and ask, what do you do? Now the fourth question. The best way to ask someone about their hobby is option A. What are your hobbies? Option B. Do you have any hobbies? Option C. What do you do for fun? Option D. What do you do in your free time? And option E. Both C and D. That is what do you do for fun and what do you do in your free time? What's the right answer? The right answer is option E. That is both. C and D because native speakers of English rarely use the word hobby. Instead, they use what do you do for fun or what do you do in your free time. The fifth question is, the four skills of language are listening, speaking, reading and writing. What's the right answer? Well, the statement is true uh, because this is uh, famously known as LSRW, that's the four skills of uh, language. L stands for listening, S stands for speaking, R stands for reading and W stands for writing. So, the statement is true. The sixth question is choose the correct option. So, two statements are given. Statement A is listening leads to thinking and statement B is thinking leads to decision making. Now, let me read out the options. Option A, both A and B are correct. Option B, only A is correct. Option C, only B is correct. Option D, both A and B are wrong. What's the right option? The right option is option A, that is, both A and B are correct. Why? Because listening leads to thinking and thinking leads to decision making. Therefore, the option A is correct option. What's the answer to that? The answer to um, question number 6 is option A, that is both A and B are correct. Well, the explanation, well, I would say this is quite self-explanatory because um, it's only when you listen, when you only when you listen properly, it helps you think and thinking actually helps you in making decisions. The seventh question is, successful listening is not a passive act. Is the statement true or false? Well, the answer is it's true because one cannot think and make decisions through passive listening. Therefore, the act of listening is not passive. The next question is, when the tongue touches the teeth, dental sounds are produced. Is this statement true or false? Well, the right answer is the statement is true. So, dental sounds involve the tongue tip making contact with upper teeth to form a constriction. Example, 
the first sound in the words like thing, thing, etc. The ninth question is which among the following is not an alveolar sound? So, what's an alveolar sound? When the tongue touches the ridge behind the teeth on the roof of the mouth, alveolar sounds are produced. So, all the sounds except option D are alveolar sounds. And what's option D? It's P. And what is P sound? P is a labial sound. The final question is, many a time the way we write a word in English is different from the way we pronounce it. What's the answer to that? Well, the answer to that is true. The statement is true. Well, the tenth and the final question is many a time the way we write a word in English is different from the way we pronounce it. Is the statement true or false? Well, the answer to this question is that the statement is true. Let me substantiate that with an example. Apple, the first alphabet of the word uh, apple is A. And A is not pronounced as A in apple. We don't say apple, but apple. So it's pronounced as A. So the oral sound that stands for the alphabet A is A. Therefore, the way we write a word in English is different from the way we pronounce it. With that, we come to an end of the session. I will meet with you on a different day with a different module. Until then, stay safe. Take care. Bye.